Hey folks, I just want to go over a couple of things with you real quick. This latest and not so greatest Jonathan Cleck video. It is finished, time to blah blah blah. Um, Jonathan seems to be pretty upset lately because there's a lot of uh, anti Cleckite videos coming out. And um, seems to be pretty rattled. Um, one of which I'll make reference to is. Um, this one here, I suggest you guys check it out by James Mighty. Uh, James Mighty, <clears throat> he's a false prophet. You might want to check that out. And um, he's, I'm a little bit concerned about him. You know, he's definitely coming unhinged. Got this uh, little portion of this video snippet here. I'll play for you. I'll show you what I mean. Because I can decrypt what they do. Whenever you see a priest holding a little boy, let me tell you something. It's not what you think. It's sick. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I freaked out one time. I told him, what, I can't do this. This is too much. I can't deal with this. So now it's kind of like getting some vindication. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not all that. It's like, yeah. It's like, that. It's like, dude, you want it? You got it. <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> you know, Jonathan, maybe you just should go pound sand instead, you know, because you are, I gotta say, you're the all time greatest YouTube false teacher. Hands down. Nobody even comes close to you, man. Um, first of all, not every Catholic priest is a pedophile. All right, but you know, I'm sure you'll you'll argue with me because you just said when you see, you know, anytime you see a whole priest, uh, a Catholic priest holding a kid, that uh, it's not what you think. And then that nice thing you did—that's that's, that's kind of creepy. Maybe you do have a little serpent blood. <laughs> just saying, man. Just saying. Uh, but then, uh, okay, so then we got another one. Oh, I wanted to ask you about this since you're into decoding stuff. In the back of your bandana here, what's, what's this demon face doing on the back of your bandana? Check that out, folks. Jonathan Clegg, False Prophet by uh, the Velvet Cult. And, um, I mean, you can see it clear as day right there. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I can highlight a couple of things for you here. Right there. Also over here, I see another face. It's like the devil and a couple of horns to me. Just saying, right there. So maybe, maybe you can explain that one to us, Jonathan. Why in the world you got a demon or Baphomet on the back of your head? You know, you, you do videos and you talk about, um, um, you know, Obama and what he's got on the back of his head. Let's talk about yours, man. Turn those accusatory fingers pointing back at yourself. Please, please let us know. Explain that one, would you? And then last but not least, um, you're looking pretty creepy here, Jonathan. <laughs> I mean, look at that, man. I don't, you know, I, it's like something in a horror movie. Look, ooh. I don't know, Jonathan. But, um, I'll get to the point here. Going back and starting here. I checked this, check this out. We are the devil. There's the big news. We're the devil. Where's the last place you look for the devil? In the mirror. That's the last place you look. We are children of the devil. Just like it says in the Bible, it says, You are children of your father, the devil. It doesn't say that, Jonathan. What is Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. You know, there's this little thing going on in the Bible called the wheat and the tares. Okay. I've explained this to you before, so pay attention this time. There's the wheat, and there's the tares. There's the good seed, there's the bad seed. 
two different seeds. Okay? When God spoke to Eve and the, and the Satan in the garden, he made a specific reference to her seed being the good seed and Satan's seed being the bad seed. Okay? So, once again, I debunked you. Your false teaching is just getting out of control. And your anger issues are out of control. The frustration in your last video, this, it is finished. Time to, I don't know, slap the naysayers or the false prophet hunter people. with you, Because you're all, you're all, your cage is rattled, dude. It's clearly, your cage is rattled. You know, you're talking about gang members you used to know and hang out with. You're talking about your martial arts. You're talking about, you know, how you used to enjoy beating people up, getting justice and all that in your head. Um, let me explain something to you. You're not the only guy in the world that's taking martial arts. I've taken three different types. Ed Parker was a good personal friend of mine. We used to go to church and pass the together. He taught Elvis. Okay? As far as gang members, I'm from L.A. Do I need to say any more? I know all kinds of people. I've been in all kinds of homes because I used to have a service company. Right? So stop threatening people. You banned me from your channel saying I was a bully and uh, abusive or something to that nature. And, uh, you know, but you're threatening people. I'm not intimidated, dude. Anybody else in their right mind won't be either. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're a false teacher. You're leading people to hell with your Gnostic gospel. Repent. Time is short. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that uh, New York is going to get hit. They did it before. Why wouldn't they try it again? It's the financial hub of America. If you were the enemy, where would you try to hit? You ain't that bright, Jonathan. And those that follow you aren't that bright either. Okay? Have a good day.